I'm standing here with two new friends, Gaby <laughs> and Colin, who are founders of YGG. Uh, yeah, 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 leadership yeah. team at YGG. Yeah. Okay, and and this is a grand old man of banking, right? <laughs> Tito Ortiz, and they're working together to build a gaming platform. Uh, How yeah, does it work? It's a community for financial inclusion for gamers around the world. Yeah. And in the Philippines, there's been what thousands. Yeah, ten, uh, tens of thousands. What yeah. Thousands? Oh yeah. <laughs> of individuals who get together, build, uh, build guilds, yeah. um, uh, to play a game and generate an income. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's it's amazing. The, it's the new path to financial inclusion. It's a new path. Yeah. Gaming is the new yeah. path to financial yeah. inclusion. It's not through IFC or World yeah. Bank it's or the, ADB. It's gaming. Yeah, it's the first. This time is the irony. It's the it's the easiest way to earn crypto natively, and so it, because of that, it actually is bottoms up. Where actually prior movements of fintech and crypto were very top down, right? So it's like uh, we have the problem where we're trying. Other people in prior revolutions, it's like people would try to take fiat money and buy and crypto try, with it. Crypto we're crypto. Get, they're earning natively in crypto and bringing it back on shore. That's our into, job. Into, and our job is to get the to, for them to monetize in usable form so that they can buy their eggplants and eggs and uh, yeah, fish that's and right. in Philippine pesos. But they earn in crypto, and right. and they earn by gaming every day, uh, and that's real money that they buys the yeah. the there's vegetables liquid, and a, there's yeah. a liquid market for it. Yeah. Uh, so when did you guys start your what to do? Two thousand twenty and. Uh, and what is it actually like? It's a gaming platform. It's a gaming guild. Yeah. It's a, so, do you have new games all the time, or and they have their own coin, don't you? And yeah. you have your own coin. It's yeah, a, that's right. Which is traded in Binance. Yes. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Uh-huh. Uh, guys, this is amazing. Okay, tell me something more. Like, uh, so I guess I guess the thing with the, the guild piece that that Gavin really awesome. discovered is in oh, prior uh, in, in prior um, in prior right now, iterations but, uh, of like the games industry. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, uh, prior iterations of the games industry, like uh, a single platform would be the game, the user base. Uh, you know, kind of each of the layers would it be in one database, right? So with crypto and on the blockchain, it's decentralized. That means. Uh, the, sh- the database is shared, and what what that means is actually the game developer is just one stakeholder. But then there's the game economy, there's the game users, there's the the, the large players, the small players. They're all almost not on equal footing, but they're on they're on much better footing rather than just this kind of monolith game developer that owns it all, right? And instead, you you really have a game ecosystem built around the thing. And so we primarily represent. Uh, the game players, first and foremost, certainly some game investors as well. And, uh, you know, I think it, it, it's in the same way uh, other crypto pieces want to decentralize, like other very centralized institutions, the crypto gaming revolution is decentralizing kind of the central gaming developer yeah. model. Right? It, you know, it, it in is. short, you're democratizing the network effects, the monetary value of the network, which is now centrally controlled by the Facebooks and all these guys. This one is you're democratizing it so that the value of the network, you know, little guys get it's a small piece, but still they get. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> and it's you can do it. Wherever, you know, you can you can earn on the fly. You can kind of do it on your own time. It's 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 been a it's been a big online. So in my book coming out in October, uh, the 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 uh, the great transition from uh, the platform economy to the personalization economy. I'm just excited. I've just met the guys who are making it happen, and 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 they're so at the front here that if you thought that gaming was the future, and if you thought of gaming as the future as it is dominated by a few game developers and then everybody else participate, even that has passed. And these guys have created an ecosystem where the participant creates the gaming ecosystem along with the the developers. Yeah. This is if you only understood what they're saying. Uh, this is mind-boggling future, and I met them here in Manila. It's amazing. Great guys. Yeah. Great to meet you. Yeah.